Welcome to Friday, the 27th. March, there we go. <laughs> Today we're going to probably try and do a kind of daily vlog. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be a busy day today while being told by the boss, so we'll see what we can do. I'm not filming fun tour because we're pretty much almost nearly next door to uh, our customer here in Caffili. We're basically in the Caffili Industrial Estate, that's all I'll say. You probably know which one, but you know, I'm not going to advertise who we go to for obvious reasons. So we parked up last night, had a good over 12 hours off, which is awesome. So I thought I'll get here, only around the corner, go in at our top time, just in the, in the months of doing my vehicle checks, I've just done the walk around check part of it. I'm now just about to do the paperwork side of it, the exciting bit. <laughs> Not really. I hope everybody is keeping themselves well in this crisis, staying at home where possible, washing your hands and everything you've been told by everybody so far. So, in effect, if you can stay home, stay home. Limit down your transit. I know it's going to be boring. I'm a biker and I'm really frustrated as well because I want to go out on the bike in this weather. It's awesome. But I can't. So, we all have to make sacrifices, as they would say. And a massive thank you to all essential workers like the NHS who are doing a massive, massive uh, thing for the country. And one thing that shocked me last night, I didn't realise this was going on, that at 8 o'clock last night everybody was clapping and all that, and all I heard was big bangs in the distance, I thought, oh no, World War 3 kicked off or something, I'm like, whoa! And I realised it's everybody uh, celebrating the NHS, so yet again, thank you very much if you work in the NHS, thank you. Uh... So... Yeah, so today's plan is we are basically in Caffili in South Wales. We're going to get part of load here and we're going to another customer into Gloucester. Load there, I'll film in between there and we'll see where we go from there. So I will catch you probably in a few seconds time and we may have a chat about other things or something or we might throw a time lapse in. We'll see. I might do another chatting bit straight after this from me driving then a time lapse, then we'll see where we go from there. Just to complicate things even further. So, hopefully you enjoy this video. It'll show you, hopefully, how quiet the roads are. You probably find everybody's gonna be going out the houses now and getting mental on the roads. But I mean, coming in here last night, I came in here, normally we ran about rush hour, about 5.30, 6 o'clock, and normally the road going to Caffili, it's busy as, anything normally last night not car but nothing really <laughs> it is mental you can see a night and day difference you know it's <laughs> it is what it is and i'll catch you in a few seconds see you in a minute hello youtube just checking we're recording on the white setting on that one welcome back we've just loaded we've just up the road from the industrial park at Caffili. And we're going to be heading over to go and top our load up at another customer around Gloucester. Well, Stonehouse, as he would say. So we've got a load of milk on, waste milk. So yeah, so it's, as you can see, it's another glorious day. Another stunning day. Hopefully my frontal camera is okay. I might need to tinker with it. So I'm going to just uh, set it back up after a wee while of not having it all set up. So no doubt some of the camera angles may need to be tinkered with. And I'm looking at probably the next week or so using my 360 camera as my frontal camera potentially. But we'll see. So this is fairly quiet, there's still a bit of traffic about, but I suspect it's because it's around 8.30 you know, for people who are going to work, it's that sort of time. Let's make sure we get a, a white lane, put in this one, 
which would make sense. Actually, let's put it back into sat nav mode. Good. Just takes a little bit of time off the mark because even though we're not fully laden, we are pretty heavy. Obviously, somebody's had a uh, bit of a newspaper storm here. A bit odd. What a mess. They literally, all oh my pet aches, never mind. It is what it is at the end of the day. Yeah, obviously, a lot of sites are putting in uh, a lot of uh, control measures. So, you know, companies are doing their bit. As I said it probably takes some time for some companies to ascertain where the weak points are. So, uh, well, I just loaded there. They were one well, of the companies that were speaking with the chap there. They were originally banning you know, drivers from using the toilet there, but uh, I think they recognise that the law is clear on that front. As I say, it wasn't the chap I spoke to, so it was just managerial. But hey, it's one of those sites that's obviously looked and learned and, you know, and that's the important thing. But looking on the positive side, absolute glorious day. And you know, and this is one of the nice things about being a truck driver in these scenarios is that my job allows me to be out and about in such glorious days like this, even though there's a lockdown on the way. And, and that is one of the privileges of this job. That we're, we're part of the few that can probably spend all day just appreciating the sunshine, or as much as you can do, while doing a job that needs to be done. It was interesting uh, reading on the forums, a lot of truckers are saying 11 o'clock today to honk your horn for truckers. I, I don't really think we should be doing that. I don't know why we should be tooting our own horn. We're doing our job at the end of the day. You know, who toots their own horn? People want to say thank you to us, they can do, but I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> and don't take that the wrong way, it's just my point of view on it, is that, you know, there's obviously some truckers on on the, some of the trucking forums on, on Facebook and that all coming out, let's toot our horns for ourselves, you know, no, that's not how it works to start off with, and at the end of the day we're just doing a job. Yes, we are critical, you know, if trucking stops, everything stops, as they would say, and it is true. But it is what it is. I know some people may see this who may think differently on that, that point. You know, no, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong, that's just what I believe, you know, I think. You know, as I say, if people out there who aren't truckers want to do something you can do, but I'm not asking at the end of the day. Seriously, I'm not. You know, we're just doing a job. I just think we're doing a job. Yeah. That's what we're doing at the end of the day. We're doing our bit, as we would say. Even if it's 1p, we do our bit. I mean, the one pence, not. <laughs> Yeah, but it is what it is. Crazy old times. And the key important is for everybody to stay safe. Stay at home if you can, as I said at the start of this video. You know, I know it's frustrating. I understand. But that, believe it or not, is doing your bit. Minimise your contact with humans where possible. Or stay at distance, shall I say. You know, phone people up, you know, that's fine. Stuff like that. And as uh, quite rightly as somebody said to me the other day, you know, effectively we're fighting World War Two again. But instead of people, or World War One, World War Two, whatever you want to say, you know, instead of people being conscripted and told to go into battle, you're being asked to stay at home, sitting in the couch, doing what you want in your house, watching Netflix, doing bits of painting or whatever you want to do in your house. You know, I mean, I know which I would choose. I'd much rather stay home. I know, yes, you know, 
I've been in battle. I know what it's like. You know, it's not not nice. And we're we're being asked to fight the easiest battle. And that's why you know the NHS need as much support as we can give them. Because I think it's outrageous that they haven't got the correct PPE in a lot of cases within the NHS. I think it's utterly outrageous and despicable in a way. Yes, there was excuses for it, but to me it's not justified. We should be emergency stepping up our industry, and certainly industry that is not critical, and say, look, could you we format to produce instead of producing you know, napkins or whatever, for example, could you make face masks to the right criteria? You know, stuff like that should be going on. I know there is little bits of it going on, but that really should be what we should be doing. It's companies who, who are basically redundant need to be asking, actually, could we, you know, we manufacture stuff, could we manufacture something a little bit different? You know, could we format our manufacturing within a short time? That probably is something that needs to be looked at, and I'm sure it is to a certain degree, but it needs to be ramped up. In my mind. But that's just me. And that aside, you know, try, let's try and stay positive. That's, you know, it's very hard in these times to stay positive, because, you know, it's so easy to focus on the negatives and the worries and the stresses of the unknown and all that. Go back, absolute glorious day. You know, that, that's my positive is that I'm out and about enjoying this weather. You know, try and, uh, and probably my biggest advice is try and find something to keep yourself busy, entertained, and just try and find a positive each day. Even if it's a small positive, it's a positive. And what I'm trying to say is, everybody, try and stay positive, keep your head up. You know, it'll be over eventually, as I would say. We'll get over this. I'd say this is still fairly quiet, really. I mean... <sighs> In some ways, it's, I wouldn't say it's busy, but it's a little bit busy than I thought it would be, but hey, it is what it is. Let's knock it down one bit, slow this truck to eventually do his overtaking thing. So what I'll probably do, so I have, I've said my basically big spiel about what, what I think is going on, you know, my beliefs. So I'll say my biggest advice is to everybody, where possible, keep your distance, respect what the guidelines from the government are, because it's changing all the time. Another bit for fellow truckers, by the way, I have put this up on my Facebook, uh, make sure you've got your exemption letter for when you're going in between work and home and vice versa from your employer ideally don't make one up yourself because <laughs> either way you know they're fine that way but what we're being given is a letter basically explaining you know what were essential to the guidelines etc etc you know I'm not going to give you the full spiel but it's down to the employer to provide it. It's basically if you get pulled over by the police en route to work or vice versa it just gives you a little bit more ammunition to prove what you're up to. Obviously they will probably then look at like where you're going to and all that. 
boy asking you boy the same thing. To confirm. So that aside, I will catch you very shortly. We'll probably do a bit of a time lapse. Which uh, hopefully will turn out okay. And I will see you probably in a matter of seconds time. Probably after we've loaded. Well, loaded for the second time, shall I say. <laughs> And I'll see you. Just top to load up. Let's do an else. Just leaving at the moment. We are going white. Watch out this way now, it's because I have it flying on. Which isn't exactly cool. The lanes a wee bit here, so we need the space. There we go. We're in. Let's we're going. So it should be at our customer near Bambury for around about 12:30. Currently, it's about 11 o'clock. So yeah, we're doing well today. Stopped off and boot. I may throw an image up for my phone if I remember to add it in of me making a boot because what I found is a lot of services aren't doing hot hot boots, which is understandable to a degree, you know, in the current climate. I get it, but luckily I've got capability of making the boots anyway, so not a major drama. So I've got my sa a sandwich for lunch. It was all sealed. And some uh, milk, milkshake things, which I do like my milkshake, so. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's been a relatively smooth day so far. No major dramas. As you've seen, the roads are relatively quiet, you know, and certainly a considerably quiet quite for the fact that it's a Friday today. But there is the odd area where you sort of do question a little bit. Well, certainly I do. Could be just me. I understand some people may live out in the sticks and they may have to drive a wee bit to get to a superstore, the nearest food shop, which is understandable. But there is the odd person that I've seen just is a bit questionable. <laughs> It doesn't look like they're going to work. It doesn't really look like... Well, it doesn't make any sense them to be driving out of a town. Unless said they live out outside the town. But that could be the case. But equally, it could be people out for a day for a drive. But it's not recommended. It was against government guidelines that we're following anyway to go out for just a drive. That's why on the weekend I couldn't go out for a ride. Because it would be in breach, it would be an unnecessary journey. Even though I would be aiming not to stop, I still not going to risk it at the end of the day. I'm going to behave myself, follow the guidelines, do the right thing, as I say. Mumpity mumpity, it's not my favourite round about this one. There's all the grooves in it, quite nasty in a way. Let's get up to speed because we are fully max gross at the moment, or just shy of it, by a couple hundred kilos. But near enough. Sorry, if you hear that rattling, it's just my name, Blake, knocking about. But today's weather is well, except from the old, obviously, hazy spot, but that's understandable. 
I mean, it's it's not hot. I mean, it's not eight Celsius or so. Temperature wise, between five and eight Celsius. And it probably might get to about eleven if we're lucky. If it's anything like yesterday, eleven, twelve, give or take, depending on where you are. So, but nevertheless, it looks awesome. I love I love sunny days. Roll on the summer and roll on, get rid of this evil disease. Well, not disease, but you know, virus. Roll on the summer. Yeah, so I'm not going to Spain, obviously, at the end of next month, even if this all clears up, which I doubt. Oh. At best, we may go and do something within the UK. If we're able to, if we're not able to, we'll have to drag it out to a different date, do something. But I don't think it'll be to Spain. I'm going to say, it is what it is, and I've been very fortunate to go to, to New York already this year, so I feel very fortunate for being able to go out there. Very lucky. Right, if it's like a week or two later, I will be knackered. <laughs> well, you know, it would, wouldn't have gone ahead, in other words. And obviously when we were out there, we did take as much precautions as we could as well, so within reason for the current advice of the time. Obviously since then things have changed hit America an awful lot, very hard, but I think it's partly because of how how big their population is, and yes, I don't want to go into the politics of it, because at the end of the day, I don't live in America, and it's not probably right for me to fully criticise or judge. I don't, I don't think there would be much they could have fully done except for close the borders earlier. But, as I say, it is what it is, and we'll get over it. You know, it's only bodies guess how long it'll take, but we'll, we'll eventually get over it. You know. Yeah, so... So we load up a load of milk and deliver this off to a farm. And then we'll see what we're doing after that, which uh, I have told you at this stage I have no idea. All I've been done with it is going to be a busy day today, which mean, could mean anything. It probably just means I'm definitely doing I'm obviously doing another job after this, obviously. But what it is, no idea. Drop the speed down a wee bit to allow this fellow trucker to get past us. So what I'll do is I'm not too sure if I'm gonna time lapse on route there. Should I should I or should I do it after? Actually we'll do a bit of time lapse before. So we can watch me call up uh, uh, what do you call it, hill? Name of it. Birdlip, that's it. It's Birdlip, I think. It's going to be a bit of a slow call, or something tells me. So hope and uh, you know hopefully everybody is keeping well and all that. Oh, that's the important thing really. This is just be as safe as you can be and just be sensible. Be smart, as I say. Don't be stupid, be smart. Don't be like Bill. <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is, as I say. We live in a mad old world. Crazy times. 
and once I'll do, I'll see you in a little bit. Probably after we've tipped, and I'll inform you where we're going next, when I know, hopefully. So I'll see you. We've just tipped, literally, and uh, not literally tipped away the place, but we offloaded at the farm. I just wait to turn out this juncture so with his fellow trucker, and hopefully it's clear after him. Yep, we're looking good. We're looking good. We're looking good. Cheers, thank you very much. That's how they're very good here. So uh, that all went in. I was a bit nervous bit nervous there if it all get, get into the tank <laughs> it didn't look like enough space but luckily it all got in <laughs> I mean I literally stood out ready to stop it at the end as it's like please all go in especially when you get to last like a few hundred kilos <laughs> like please go in please go in there's a bit of faff to reset up again and then you have to kind of have to move the truck up and down along the line depend where they can fit it how you get deliveries like that it's a good delivery when it all goes in and we are now going over to Magor so we're kind of backtracking a wee bit in a way it's not the temperature down the wee bit is it? not hot in here but I like it a little bit cooler it's 13 Celsius out there, so actually it's getting on out there, temperature-wise, it's awesome. Had a uh, good sort of pack lunch, lunch thing in a nice big lay-by just before I got here for literally a 15 minute wait, and also just to, after that, square some paperwork away as well, which I needed to do, which was all good, it was nice and pleasant. Hopefully I might stick the picture up if I remember as well before this or when I say this or the two yes absolutely glorious day as I said it's well these what makes the job a little bit is the fact that you get to see different places you get to be and certainly jobs that I do I'm out in the countryside all the time mostly yes a bit of motorway here and there look very much like he's on route to work he's going to just stop on his motorbike as if he's out for a afternoon ride but who knows <laughs> sorry it, it kind of bugbears me a little bit <laughs> you know when you've got people who are obviously out casually I permit personally I don't think there's much harm in that but obviously he's not getting close to me but still it does take the mick a wee bit because it's not essential travel he could be on the week between work, that's what's hard about it, and that's what, personally, I have to keep telling myself, okay? There could be a legitimate reason, but it kind of can weed some people, and you can go, hmm, bit questionable. So I should not have a backpack on or anything like that, because to me, it's, if you have a backpack on, on the motorbike, unless you've got panniers, you know, it kind of means you're either doing something a bit more than just riding, because you're taking stuff with you, which either could be a packed lunch or, or work gear, or both, After or you pop you out to the shops. But who knows, so I'll leave it at that. I'm, as I said, it's one of those little things you notice now. <laughs> and no doubt I'll look back in the future and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember then that, that awful period of time. That's all we look saying. But hey, you know, if it was any other day without a lockdown, I would be at my bike if I could. I mean, obviously not today, so I would be at work. But days like this, I would be 
making the most of it. And I said that's also what makes it another bit of a shame in a way, is that we're having this awesome weather as we have a lockdown. It's, as I say, it's just typical. It really is just typical. But as I was trying to say earlier, is the fact that, you know, with this job, I'm very lucky to be out and about. You know, to see countryside like this. You know, as I said, I was able to park up in the lay-by for literally 15 minutes to have my lunch. You know, admire the view. You know, I know I'm very, 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 very lucky in that fact, because I know a lot of people right now don't have that luxury, you know. Especially if you live in a big town or a city. You know, you, you're not going to be that fortunate. Unless if you go for a very long fitness run, and see the health skirts or something like that, or, or something like that. Or you work outside the city, essentially. But yeah, that only makes you appreciate also, so I'm getting all very, uh, what you call it, <laughs> sentimental, I think the word is, makes you appreciate where we live more and more. You know, we live in an absolute stunning country. We take it for granted and we shouldn't. We should appreciate our country. Especially the countryside, it's amazing. And on days like this, it just makes it buzz. So something about it when you have massively sunny sky, clear blue sky, maybe the odd wisp of cloud and haze. You know, it just makes something special. I mean, the farmers are probably liking it now. Because this will be drying the fields out quite nicely, hopefully. Uh, they've already been seeding, as I've been seeing as well, which is all good. Hopefully they have a good harvest this year. Or harvests. Actually, even though it's quiet, you still have to be careful. Because as you may see, you may see there's signs on this road saying uh, it's a high danger route or something of that of nature. You know, X amount of deaths. You know, which only makes you wake up and go, Actually, yeah, it is a dangerous road, because it's, it's definitely a motorbiker's road, this. But, I can see why it's dangerous. Go. Oh, claw. bothering me. So I had my helmet upside down wobbling about like a bowling pin. Should we do it away? I'll we'll stop next, I'll sort that out. Yeah, but I mean otherwise everything's all good or normal or as possible things can be. One thing I'm gonna try and do is try and not now go on about COVID-19 hopefully too much in future videos you know as I was trying to say in one of my recent videos is I want to have a bit more positive you know upbeat videos where possible and that's one of the reasons why I released my New York trip photos as well just as something a bit more positive you know even though it's just uh, watching loads of slides and some music I thought that's better than nothing. At least it shows you what I've been up to over the last few weeks. But hopefully this video is entertaining-ish, maybe, possibly, a little bit. You know, as they would say. I know it's going to be a bit bland in some ways, because you know, we are a bit busy. And I've got quite a high tempo, even though I mean I had quite a you know casual night last night because uh, our collection was uh, 
you know, FX collection time. So, you know, I'm over 12 hours off last night. Do, 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 do. We're all good. Hopefully, I'm looking at maybe doing a video to talk about the tanker soon as well, but I need just a bit of a quiet time to do that because I don't want to uh, burn too much free time, or not necessarily free time, but work time in doing that. I would much rather do it at a quiet period where I can go, go through it properly and hopefully make it semi entertaining or in informative that but we'll see hopefully that will be soon plan this week video wise is just probably this vlog this week I might look at doing something else I'll see we'll see where we go as I'm looking at using my 360 camera soon as well a bit more not using it as a 360 but to use it so I can get some different angles in the cab potentially but we'll see where that goes so what I'll do is I do not know if I'm going to time lapse back in but we may do then I'll probably do an outro on the way out of Magor somewhere Gonna be there about 3.30. It'll take at least two hours to load, give or take. So 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30 at the customer, potentially maybe a bit later. That's if we deliver it tonight. But we'll certainly get as near to the customer as we can otherwise. So yeah, that makes sense. That's a good old plan there. So I will catch you imminently with a time lapse somewhere. Probably maybe going back over the bridge again. We'll see. Because at the moment we're sort of around the Cotswold sort of area at the moment. Warwickshire, Cotswold, sort of heading as a west. Back over towards like the M5 and all that. So I will catch you imminently. six in the evening awesome evening yet again going over I think the Prince of Wales Bridge for the third time today I think yeah third time today so I'm not doing too bad making the most of uh, this weather we're going down to a farm near Dickcott in Oxfordshire so we're just going to bob all the way straight down the M4 past Swindon, get to the uh, A34 turn off, turn off there, head up to Dickcott, then work away from the countryside there to the farm, which we should get there hopefully for around 8 o'clock, get in, we need to add some, uh, some stuff to this load to deactivate the yeast. But hopefully we should be out of there by about 9 o'clock and get to the lay-by that I know that's around there and parked up. Probably by about quarter past, quarter past nine. 
So that's the idea well plan. Hopefully we don't get held up. I don't think we will be, but you never know. So yeah, today's been a pretty good day actually. You know, we saw some a couple of idiots on the way here. So they had a big SUV who decided to overtake on some blind bends myself and also then the cyclists you know and if everything came at any stage uh, it would have been disaster just how he's driving is very questionable because he was literally flying down to main roads but it was but it was at least there's not as many and we did have one more but it wasn't too bad not as bad as that Oh yeah, that was a, a van driver trying to, I think it was a van, yes, a van driver trying to overtake with oncoming traffic. Oh yeah, there was another van driver, they will talk about that. You know, for some reason, on a quiet motorway, a bit like this, decided to swerve in right in front of me on the M5. I have no idea. He could just wait a few seconds, then gone in, nice, without even swerving. He literally came in and swerved. Because he came in that hot. You know, no idea. It puzz puzzles me, nevertheless, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. I just find it a bit amusing in the context of, you know, how these people don't realise what risks the pulling. And the other reason why I'm getting a little bit more excited about it now is the fact that, you know, if they get involved in an accident and somebody gets injured, that's going to tie up the NHS, it's going to tie up emergency services, the police, blah de blah de blah. You know, it's not cool for. It's not cool for at any time, but especially now, you know. But it is what it is. They're building more houses down there. Interesting. I don't know if I noticed that earlier, but I suppose I was admiring the view earlier. Even like now, it's like, wow. I mean, it might be more epic going the other way. I mean, you can see the mountains going the other way, which is pretty cool. I must admit. But it's still pretty cool going this way. I like how the bridge is all lit up up ahead. It's amazing. I love going over this bridge where it's really sunny because you can get epic moments a bit like this and you can like pick up every bit of detail and bear in mind I'm wearing my sunglasses at the moment so if I pop those up, yeah it's just how the light is hitting the bridge it's as well I mean I don't know if this is the best I've seen it well, I think I might have seen it better, but still pretty good, still still awesome, I'm not complaining. And it's actually nice going over the bridge when it's pretty quiet. There is a fair bit of traffic, but it is around 6 o'clock, so that's about a lot of uh, factories around this sort of time disperse. Change of shifts. But it's still pretty quiet though, you know, if you think about it, it's a Friday. I've got no traffic warnings on my uh, thing at the moment. Normally there's bound to be a few around Bristol, and the, that means there'll definitely be a few on my uh, thing at the moment. So we're going to get out to the middle lane because we need to be in the middle lane. Let's just because we are fully laden, which means we are pretty heavy, which the load will drive us down the hill. So I was backing the cruise control off, pulling the auto control back or lower, so it will hold me at 55 mile, miles an hour down the hill, 56, 55, give or take. 
instead of rolling over by about three or four miles an hour over it, since it is limited to 55, 56. That's just what I do, it just makes things a bit easier, a bit more chill, you know, under control, as they would say. And that's the name of the game. Do everything safely, under control, get the load between A and B. Simple. A lot more to it than that, but... <laughs> wow. Sorry, I was looking at the other bridge then. Try not to get distracted though. Sorry, I love... But it's really something how it lights up, like, big structures and stuff like that. It's amazing. I love, like, going into mountains where it's sunny as well. It's, you know, makes me want to be up in the Snowdonia or somewhere like that, or up in the, the Highlands. West coast of Scotland, in other words. Because it is amazing. But, it is what it is. And no doubt, when I do have a holiday later this year, it's probably going to be most likely up to Scotland, if the weather's good enough, or around Wales. Or something like that. I may do the southwest, but uh, I've got the itch to go to some mountains on the bike. Boy, to compensate for not doing our Spain trip this year. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to reorganise that for this year. Might be able to, well, depend what the situation is and all that, we may go and do a Picos trip, maybe. Same time for last year, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see how things pan out, as they would say. There's higher priorities than that at the moment. As they would say. So yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. I know it's been a bit you know, but it's just a typical day at work really, it's, you know, we're pretty busy at the moment. Bear in mind I've done one, two, three collections in total. I'm going to do two deliveries today. That isn't bad going. You know, I mean, epically, if you do three deliveries, yeah, you did pretty good. At the average distance that we do. But, it's a pretty good day, so I should be able to get to customers tonight, get tipped, and get parked up. So I'd rather get the load off tonight if I can. Yeah, so we're, we're loaded there. Well, all the sites so far today have been really good on like hand cleaning, sanitisation, even making sure to a degree of asking you have you had are you coughing regularly and all that especially at the last customer we did that which is interesting they seem to have put up a lot of protective stuff for their own stuff which is all cool and obviously i'm trying to keep my distance anyway but i know that's just a control against you know people who might not be as wary So there is a lot of positives, the industry is adapting, by all seems. I'm not saying it is everywhere, but what I've seen today is good. Very positive, or certainly what I've seen over the last couple of days, anyway. So with that said, you know, I would like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. As you, I know I say this all the time, but I do seriously mean it. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I know all those who comment on my uh, videos as well, you've all very much appreciated. You know, even if our views may slightly differ or, you know, it doesn't matter. It's always nice to have feedback and see what other people's views are and all that. Stay.
stay in the middle lane because the left lane veers off and turns us into power mode. And yet, to all those who watch my channel as well, thank you very much. You're also appreciated. But please go and smash that subscribe button. It does help the channel out. Certainly if you want to see further content. And also, remember to hit that bell icon. Because it uh, will remind you when I post. Or as infrequently as I post. Also, go and check out my Facebook and Instagram. We need to put some small stuff up there. I, I go through stages with it. And sometimes I'm really good with it, and other times I'm just really rubbish. So bear with me, but please go and check it out. I am still working on that front. I need to just uh, do some more stuff on Facebook and Instagram just to improve that end. And also, I'm looking at creating a website as well, potentially. But we'll see. Each bit as it comes, as I would say. And yet again, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody. And uh, to everybody, keep safe, follow government directions, be sensible, be smart. You know, clean your hands. <laughs> So, that, with that said, I will see you in the next drop. Over. Yeah.